On October 9, 2024, the UK Ministry of Defence, MOD, announced a significant milestone for the Royal Navy's Wildcat helicopter, which successfully conducted its first live guided firing of the Sea Venom anti ship missile at the MOD Aberporth Range in Wales. This successful trial marks a substantial enhancement in the Wildcat's offensive capabilities, enabling it to effectively engage surface threats up to the size of corvettes. With future carrier strike group deployments planned for 2025 and beyond, this advancement is set to bolster the Royal Navy's firepower. The Sea Venom missile is equipped with an advanced imaging infrared seeker granting it a fire-and-forget functionality that allows the missile to autonomously pursue its targets. Furthermore, a high-speed, two-way data link enables operators to monitor and adjust the missile's trajectory during flight. This capability allows for retargeting, refining aim points, or aborting the mission if necessary, enhancing the missile's versatility and effectiveness in dynamic combat scenarios. The live firing trial was a collaborative effort involving key organizations such as Leonardo Helicopters, MBDA, Kinetic, and the UK MOD, demonstrating a unified approach to enhancing the UK's maritime capabilities. The integration of the Sea Venom missile on the Wildcat is designed to complement other missile systems, like the Martlet, providing a robust strike capability for the helicopter. Since entering service in 2015, the Wildcat has played a crucial role in the Royal Navy's aviation fleet, including the defense of Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. The Sea Venom and Martlet missiles, both integrated onto the Royal Navy's AW-159 Wildcat helicopters, serve distinct roles within the future anti-surface guided weapon, FASGW program. While both missiles are designed for air-to-surface operations, they cater to different operational needs and target types. The Sea Venom is a larger, more capable missile specifically designed to engage medium to larger naval vessels, such as patrol craft and corvettes. With a range of approximately 20 kilometers and a 30 kilograms warhead, it delivers significantly more firepower than the Martlet. Equipped with an infrared seeker and data link guidance, the Sea Venom allows four man in the loop control during flight, enabling real time updates on target engagement. Its sea skimming capability minimizes the risk of detection, making it particularly effective against heavily defended targets. The missile also supports multiple attack profiles, including top attack and sea skimming modes, providing versatility against various targets and operational conditions. In contrast, the Martlet is a lightweight missile optimized for engaging smaller and lightly protected targets, such as fast attack craft or unmanned surface vessels. Weighing just 13 kilograms with a 3 kilograms warhead, the Martlet can achieve speeds exceeding twice the speed of sound and has an engagement range of over 6 kilometers. Its compact size allows a Wildcat helicopter to carry up to 20 missiles, providing substantial firepower against swarm attacks from small boats. Utilizing a laser beam riding guidance system, the Martlet ensures precision engagement, making it ideal for targeting smaller or more agile vessels at close ranges. The successful live firing of the Sea Venom missile from the Wildcat helicopter represents a crucial advancement in the Royal Navy's capabilities, enhancing its ability to engage surface threats effectively. As the Navy prepares for future deployments, the integration of the Sea Venom and Martlet missiles will ensure a comprehensive and flexible approach to maritime defense, addressing the diverse challenges posed by modern naval warfare.